Did you know that 63% of millennials are financially illiterate? Shocking, right? And no, that doesn't mean they can't read a restaurant bill. It means they're not quite up to speed with the ins and outs of managing money, investments, and savings. Now, before you break out in cold sweats, don't worry. We're not here to give you a pop quiz on the stock market or make you calculate compound interest in your head. We're here to help you avoid being part of that 63%. We're going to show you that personal finance isn't as scary as it seems. We'll break it down, piece by piece, into digestible chunks. All served with a side of wit and a dash of humor, of course. So, buckle up as we dive into this exciting journey of financial enlightenment. Contrary to popular belief, managing money isn't just about numbers, it's also about understanding the psychology behind your spending habits. Now let's take a walk through the fascinating world of financial psychology. You see, our money habits are often driven by our emotions and behaviors. And just like a donut tempts us with its sugary sweetness, instant gratification often lures us into making impulsive purchases. Imagine walking into AA and spotting a shiny new gadget. It's the latest model, brimming with high-tech features. Your heart races, your palms sweat, and before you know it, you're at the checkout counter, credit card in hand. But did you really need that gadget? Or was it the thrill of the purchase, the instant gratification that propelled you to buy it? Instant gratification is like the siren song consumerism. It's alluring, it's compelling, and it can lead us off course from our financial goals. But fear not, just as Odysseus outsmarted the sirens, we too can learn to resist the lure of instant gratification. Enter the concept of delayed gratification. It's the financial equivalent of choosing a salad over a donut. Sure, the salad might not be as instantly satisfying as the donut, but it's a healthier choice in the long run. Similarly, resisting the urge to make an impulsive purchase today can lead to greater financial health tomorrow. Think of it like dieting. That donut might look tempting but your future self will thank you for choosing the salad. And when it comes to money, your future self will definitely thank you for resisting the siren song of instant gratification. Now this is not to say that you should never indulge in a little retail therapy, but it's important to strike a balance between satisfying our immediate desires and securing our long-term financial well-being. So, the next time you're tempted to splurge on something you don't really need, remember this. Money management isn't just about crunching numbers, it's about understanding your habits, making conscious decisions and sometimes, choosing the salad over the donut. Remember, it's not just about crunching numbers, it's about understanding your habits and making conscious decisions. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more financial tips. Budgeting sounds boring, right? But think of it this way. It's your financial GPS, guiding you to your financial goals. Budgeting is like a superhero's secret weapon. You may not see it, but it's always there, working behind the scenes, keeping you on track. Imagine you're a superhero, your power is to control money, and your mission is to reach financial freedom. Your budget is your trusty sidekick, always ready to guide you and keep you on mission. Without a budget, you're like a ship lost at sea, constantly tossed by financial waves, without a clear direction or destination. Winds of unexpected expenses can blow you off course. The siren call of impulsive purchases can lure you onto the rocks of debt. No captain wants to be in that situation. But with a budget, you're a financial Columbus, discovering new worlds of financial freedom. You've got a map showing you exactly where your money is going, and you can adjust your course as needed. You can navigate around storms of debt, sail past the temptations of impulsive spending, and chart a course towards your financial goals. A budget isn't a set of shackles, binding you to a frugal lifestyle. It's more like a compass, guiding you towards smart spending decisions. It's about making your money work for you, not the other way around. Budgeting isn't about denying yourself pleasures, but about understanding the difference between wants and needs. It's about prioritizing and making conscious decisions about how you spend your hard-earned money. It's about taking control of your financial journey instead of letting it control you. Remember, even the wealthiest people budget. It's not about having limited resources. It's about managing whatever resources you have effectively. So don't see budgeting as a chore or a killjoy. Embrace it as your financial GPS, guiding you towards your financial goals be it buying a house, starting a business, or simply having a safety net for rainy days. So, start plotting your course, Captain. Take control of your ship, and let your budget guide you towards your financial freedom. We've all heard of saving, but how many of us are actually good at it? It's like going to the gym. We all know we should, but that couch is just too comfortable. Now imagine your savings account as a couch. 
Yes, you heard me right, a plush comfortable couch that gets more comfortable the more you use it. And by use it, I mean, add money to it. Just like how you wouldn't want to sleep on a bare couch, you wouldn't want an empty savings account. Your savings account should be as stuffed as a Thanksgiving turkey. Plump, juicy, and ready for the future. But how do we get there? How do we turn our savings account from a bare, uncomfortable bench into a lavish, plush couch? It's simple. We pay ourselves first. Paying yourself first is like ordering dessert before your main course. It's a bit unconventional, sure, but it guarantees you get what you want. By setting aside a portion of your income for your savings as soon as you get paid, you're ensuring that your future self will have a comfortable seat. And the best part? You don't have to start by stuffing your couch with hundreds of dollars. Even a handful of loose change can make a difference. The key is consistency. It's like watching a new show on Netflix. You start with one episode, then another. And before you know it, you've binged the entire season. So let's start small. Let's start by saving just 1% of our income. Then, we can gradually increase that percentage over time, just like how you add more episodes to your watch list. And remember, every time you add money to your savings account, you're not just saving money. You're buying peace of mind, security, and a comfortable future. So, start treating your savings account like your favorite TV show. Keep adding to it. Now who wouldn't like their money to make more money? That's like your pizza delivery guy throwing in an extra pizza for free. Yes, indeed. That's the beauty of investing. So, let's dive into it. Investing is like planting a money tree. You put in a little seed capital, give it time to grow, and before you know it, you have a full-blown money tree. But remember, money trees don't grow overnight. It takes time, patience, and the magic ingredient, compound interest. Compound interest is like the secret sauce that makes your money grow faster. It's interest on interest, a snowball effect. Imagine rolling a snowball down a hill. It starts small, but as it rolls down, it picks up more snow and gets bigger and bigger. That's how compound interest works. It's your money, making more money, which then makes even more money. It's like a money-making party where everyone's invited. But here's the kicker. The magic of compound interest works best when you start early. It's not about timing the market, it's about time in the market. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow. So, don't wait for a fairy godmother to turn your pennies into gold. Start investing. Now investing can seem daunting at first with all the jargon and numbers, but don't let that scare you. Think of it like learning a new language. It might seem challenging at first, but with time you'll get the hang of it. And remember, you don't have to go at it alone. There are plenty of resources and professionals out there to help you navigate the investing world. Remember, the early bird gets the interest. Or was it the worm? Either way, start early. Start. So, there you have it. Personal finance isn't about following a strict set of rules, it's about understanding your money and making it work for you. Remember, we've navigated the uncharted waters of the unexpected about money and realized that it's not just about numbers. We've found our financial GPS through budgeting, discovered the art of keeping money by saving, and even learned the magic trick of making our money multiply through investing. But like any good magician, you've got to make your own rules. You're the puppet master here, the one pulling the strings of your financial destiny, and that's the beauty of it. You get to decide where money goes, how it grows, and ultimately, how it shapes your life. Now here's a thought-provoking question for you. If money was no object, what would you do? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're at it, if you enjoyed this video and want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with us, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We have plenty more illuminating content coming your way. Don't forget to also hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Let's conquer the world of personal finance together.